Hey Mark. Hey Mark, how's it going? Hey, good. That's one of the biggest veterans. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, let's let's start this thing. We're, so we're going to we're generating our world. We're running four simultaneous cameras, as you mentioned. Uh, we've got a pretty uh, aggressive driver here in front of us. We defined the scenario as causing all the traffic to jam up. Um, but as you mentioned, we got all the cameras, so we're running on multiple GPUs, so it's a scalable system. As cars get more and more sensors, more cameras, more LiDARs, we're going to need the horsepower of multiple GPUs. And we're showing that to you right here. Okay, so we could do, of course, we could simulate daylight scenario, let's simulate other scenarios. Okay, let's, uh, why don't we turn the lights out and go to night. So here's the same setup, only now we're doing all the dynamic lighting, so the headlights of the cars, the the light posts that are lighting the uh, road, the lights under the bridge as you drive under here, these are all dynamic real-time lights. And, and the, the key here is that the, the fidelity of the simulation has to be sufficiently high that the sensor stack, all the software that we create, would just operate as they would in real life. That's exactly right. Right? So, so and every one of the sensors needs to have GPU associated with it to, to generate its, per, its view of the universe, its view of the world that it's in. And so, so today we're simulating with four GPUs, with four cameras, but obviously we have the ability to spawn off a whole large number of GPUs. So, so if, you have, if you have eight LiDAR systems around your car, you have eight cameras around your car, you have six radars, we have the ability to generate all of that and feed that information into our sensors. And if we are successful in doing that, our artificial intelligence network, all of the network, all the software that we ran, that we developed, should just work. So Mark, let's turn down. That's right. Okay. okay.